Hi Judgers! Welcome to another segment of Juan Arliwag Memorial High School, Senior High School Math TV. And for today's video lesson, we will discuss on how to identify whether the parabola is opening up, down, to the left, or to the right. Again, for today's video lesson, we will discuss on how to identify the opening of the parabola, whether it is opening upward, downward, to the left, or to the right. So, our problem here is that we, ne we need to state the direction in which the parabola opens. But before we identify the opening of the parabola, let us first go back to our discussion regarding the standard equation of the parabola. If we have two equations for the parabola, the first one is x squared is equal to 4cy. So for this one, parabola is either opening upward or downward. Again, we could say that our parabola is opening upward or downward depending on the sign of 4c. Or if you are using other variable, it, it could be written as 4a, 4p, or using other variables. For this one, we will be using c as our variable. Okay, so if this is positive, remember that our parabola is opening upward. If this becomes negative, our parabola will open downward and this is the standard equation of the parabola wherein the vertex is located at the origin again if the vertex is at the origin this is the standard equation we have x squared is equal to 4cy wherein the vertex is located at hk it becomes therefore it becomes x minus h quantity squared is equal to 4c times y minus k okay again this will be our basis in which we could say the direction of the parabola but if we have an equation x minus h quantity squared remember this is also equal to this one x squared we have x squared here and we also have x minus h quantity squared here we will just be choosing between two it could either open up or down is that clear if we have variables that is x squared Therefore, we will only be using upward or downward. So, how do we know if it is up or down? By basing on the sign of the right side. So, for this one, if this is positive, it is opening up. But if th this becomes negative, it is opening downward. Okay. So, how about if opens to the left or to the right? So, if it opens to the left or to the right, therefore, we will be using vertex located at the origin the standard equation is y squared is equal to 4cx it is opening to the left if it is negative and if it is opening and it is opening to the right if this becomes positive okay so what if the vertex now is located at hk therefore it becomes y minus k quantity squared is equal to 4c times x minus h Okay, so how do we know again if it is opening to the left or to the, to the right? So, so for the left side, if it is opening to the left, remember that it is negative. So if the right side is negative, therefore it is opening to the left. But if the right side is positive, it is opening to the right. So that is our um, guide in which we could determine the direction of the parabola so i will be drawing here a graph so again if it is opening upward that is x squared x squared up down x squared to the left to the right that is y squared this is y squared therefore if we are given these equations we will be able to know exactly the opening of the parabola so let's start let's start with the given for the first one we are given x minus 5 is equal to y minus 3 quantity squared just by just merely looking we could tell now the opening of the parabola but some of you might get confused because of the order of the equation so let's write this in the correct form so therefore this becomes y minus 3 quantity squared is equal to x minus 5. 
and then write a parenthesis. Is this positive or negative? Correct. That is positive. Since there is no negative sign here, therefore we could say that this right side is positive. But what is this form? It takes the form of this one. It takes the form of y minus k quantity squared is equal to 4c times the quantity x minus h. Therefore, it could either open to the left or to the right. But what is the sign of the right side? Very good. That is positive. Therefore, number one, it opens to? Exactly. It opens to the right. Because this is positive. Okay, for the next one. Since we are given x minus 7 is equal to negative times the quantity y minus 5 squared, therefore, again, let's rewrite this into this form. It becomes negative y minus 5 quantity squared is equal to x minus 7. Always remember that this group being squared should not have a negative sign. So what do we do with this negative? We divide both sides by negative 1. Divide both sides by negative 1. And do not forget that there is a parenthesis here. Okay. So for this one, negative, negative 1, since there is an imaginary 1 here, negative 1 over negative 1, it becomes positive. Therefore, it becomes y minus 5 quantity squared is equal to positive 1 divided by negative 1, it becomes negative 1. Therefore, let's now write here negative, and it becomes x minus 7. Okay, in this case, it now takes the form y minus k quantity squared is equal to negative times x minus 7. Since we have here y squared, we could say that it could either open to the left or to the right. But since this is negative, the right side is negative, therefore we could say that this opens where? It opens to the left. Okay, are we clear? So how about for the third one? For the third one again, let's arrange the equation and it becomes negative 2 times x plus 2 quantity squared is equal to y plus 3. Write a parenthesis. So what do we do with this group? Okay, therefore, we need to divide both sides by negative 2. By negative 2. Negative 2 over negative 2, it becomes positive. Therefore, we're only left with x plus 2 quantity squared. Since we have 1 here, since we have an imaginary 1 here, 1 divided by negative 2, yes, very good. That is negative 1 half times the quantity y plus 3. But what equation do we have? It is now x plus h quantity squared, x minus h quantity squared is equal to negative one half times y minus k. Okay, so in this case, this is x squared. Therefore, it will open up or down. But since the right side is negative, we could say that this is opening very good. It is opening downward. Okay, for number 4, again, let's arrange. This becomes y minus 4 quantity squared is equal to x plus 1. And it is very evident that this equation is opening where? Okay, since we have y squared, y minus 4 quantity squared, it will open to the left or to the right. But since the right side is positive, since the right side is positive, therefore, we could say that this is opening, very good, to the right. Okay? It's opening to the right since this one is positive. Okay, how about for the next problem? For the next problem, it is now written in standard form. It is now written in standard form. So we do not anymore interchange the equations. So, we are, we are given here for number 5, x plus 2 quantity squared, therefore that is x. So, if we have x squared, it could either open up or down. But since the right side is positive, what can we say? Exactly. Therefore, it is opening upward. 
Okay? For number 6, it takes the form y minus 1 quantity squared is equal to negative 16 times x minus 4 times the quantity x plus 4. Okay? It takes the form of the standard form, but then this is y minus 1 quantity squared. But what do we know about y squared? Yes, it will open to the left or to the right. But since this is negative 16, we could say that this is opening where? It opens to the left. Very good. So that is how we identify easily. Okay, just arrange that into the standard form and then look at the right side. If it is opening, uh, if it is positive or negative, then we could now identify if it is opening up, down, left, right. Okay, how about for number seven? We are given x minus 5 quantity squared is equal to negative 4 times the quantity y plus 1. Since we are given x squared, we could say that this opens up or down, right? But then we are given negative 4. Therefore, we could say that this is opening negative. We are given x squared and this is negative. Very good. The parabola now is opening downward, okay? And for the last one, we are given y minus 3 quantity squared. We are given y squared is equal to 12 times the quantity x plus 1. So what do we do now? y squared, therefore, it is opening to the left or to the right. If it is opening to the left or to the right, look at the right side. Is this positive or negative? Positive 12. Therefore, what can we say if that is positive? Exactly. That is opening to the right. Okay? So, that is how we state the direction of the opening of the parabola. Again, if we are given x minus h quantity squared, it will open up or down. So, by just merely looking at the right side, if that is positive, it is opening up. If that is negative, that is opening downward. So, if the given is y minus k quantity squared or y squared, therefore, we have two choices. It might open to the left or to the right. So, look at the sign of the right side. If it is positive, it is opening to the right. If it is negative, it is opening to the left. That is how we state the direction of the opening of the parabola. Once again, I am Engineer John Edward Hernandez saying that mathematics is always fun. Goodbye and God bless.